in in 2020 i found if people were selfish i understood it because you know we all had to look after ourselves therefore i appreciated it more when someone took time to check on me but even more to pray for me you know and i'm speaking um from a position of a person who's on the platforms a person who's on the pulpit to say we needed prayer this year and i'm not ending it as we needed as if that is uh, something that happened in the past but we need your prayers we need you to stand with us welcome to the fourth edition of closing down 2020 2020 has been an amazing year, you know, <laughs> amazing in its own way. I'm not saying it was perfect. I'm not saying it was uh, good. <laughs> I'm just saying it was amazing. In other words, we learned a few things about it. So there's a scripture I opened earlier that really just had me thinking and I'm going to pull it up right now. It's in the book of Thessalonians, you know, and it literally says in 1 Thessalonians 5, brethren, pray for us. <laughs> brethren, pray for us. You know, we, we don't need to get too deep when it comes to 2020. We've all been through something. And it was really a time where it meant something to have a friend call you up because you knew that, look, they also going through their own things, you know? So to take a moment and, and look away and look at someone else was really appreciated. More than that, many of us learned the, the power of prayer because we, we got answered prayers and those answered prayers were life-changing. Those answered prayers set us free or was like literally, you know, the thing that separated you from hunger and your next meal, you know? In, in 2020, I found if people were selfish, I understood it because, you know, we all had to look after ourselves. Therefore, I appreciated it more when someone took time to check on me, but even more to pray for me. You know, and I'm speaking um, from a position of a person who's on the platforms, a person who's on the pulpit to say we needed prayer this year. And I'm not ending it as we need it, as if that is uh, something that happened in the past, but we need your prayers. We need you to stand with us. This year is rough on everybody. Nobody is exempted. So I'd like to ask you, pray for your leaders, pray for your pastors, pray for your parents, you know, pray for the financial providers in your family because a lot of them went through it. And then if there are those who you've known as you know being capable and being able to help and they are in a in a tough spot right now don't be offended don't be offended that they are unable to help you instead notice that they are also going through a rough time you know i've noticed that sometimes we make idols out of people and we expect that certain people will always be able to come through for us in this year I understood that some people had to come through for themselves and they had to save monies for their families and they had to ensure that they don't find themselves in bad financial positions. Remember, people who earned more financially were actually the ones at higher risks because some jobs cut down salaries. Some jobs were cutting down jobs. So they couldn't just be, you know, letting money out the way they normally do. So don't hold grudges against people who could not help you uh, financially during this period. Instead, pray for them, especially if you know these were people who helped you in the past when you were in a time of need. As we close off 2020, I myself want to ask for your prayers. Keep me in your prayers and may the Lord bless you. Thank you.